We're almost a month into the school year, and some pediatric offices around town tell us they've been swamped with families looking for COVID testing for their kids. So busy. News Channel Line's Callahan Marshall checks in with a pediatrician about the demand for tests. A doctor at Pediatric Associates in Camillus says she did over 100 COVID tests on Monday alone. Dr. Draker at Summerwood Pediatrics says that's not far off. We go through a ton of tests. Uh, there was a period a couple of weeks ago when uh, you couldn't obtain tests because manufacturers were not able to keep up with the demand. This is the first time in two years some kids are back in school. So districts are being extra cautious. Uh, the problem is we're dealing with the burden of the school system that when children are going to the school nurse with an illness, the school nurse reflexively, you know, needs to have the child test to make sure the child doesn't have COVID. You know, so I, I empathize with the school nurses as well. They're trying to do the best job they can and obviously trying to keep uh, the other children safe as well. But it burdens uh, the primary care physician's practices. The county executive understands that too. We'll be operating a new site five days a week at the Hamilton Street Boys and Girls Club. If your kid's symptomatic, you go to regular testing sites. Um, but if your child is no longer sick and you're stuck having to then go wait five days at a lab to get a test, this is perfect for you. Dr. Draker says anything helps. Obviously, the goal is to keep children safe and keep their families safe. Doing everything they can to make sure kids can stay in school. In Syracuse, Callahan Marshall, News Channel 9.